We had been for Chris Clayton, what, 52 weeks? Yep. 52 weeks every Friday night. Chris missed very few, most of you missed very few. But we had what we called our, the Queen of Hearts. This thing exploded. Uh, just made a tremendous amount of money. And I just want to take a second here. There was two people friends of the shrine. One of them works with me, Sarah Hendricks. She's here. Brad Green's not here, but Sarah, thank you. Every week we get down on our count. I don't even know if my boss, I'm going to talk about my boss Carol here a little later. I don't know if she knows it, but the tellers at the bank spent about a half a day on Friday tearing the tickets into five. For you that don't know, on the last night of our Queen of Hearts, we sold over $66,000 worth of tickets. Woo. It was nuts. <laughs> Lastly, last Friday night, folks. What an incredible evening. Now this is another project that took Shriners and non-Shriners alike to pull this off. When this, is dream when this was dreamed up, and there's two people I want to thank. Actually, I need to thank them for the Queen of Hearts idea and the Jeep. That's Mr. Ed Carter, who was not a Shriner at the time. I'm happy to say that he is now. And Chris Clayton. We spent a couple months talking about whether or not trying to pull this Jeep thing off. I'd be all up and high thinking we could sell a bunch of tickets. Chris would say, oh, I'm not sure. Next week, I'd be down, I don't know if we can really do it, man. We're going to have to have a lot of help. Chris is positive, saying, come on, we can do it. There was no way our group could sell a 1,000 tickets, I didn't think, at $100 a pop. But we have a lot of friends in this community and surrounding communities that understand what Corn Belt does, what the hospital does, and I'm telling you, they, they just they responded incredibly to what we've done this year. Hear what uh, Alex has to say. Thanks, Mike. Mr. Thanks. President, thank you so much. That's a hard act to follow. Uh, I won't be as long as Mike was, but I definitely will try to match his uh, passion for living the mission of Shriners Hospitals for Children. And I have to echo what he said. Thank you to his wife. Thank you to his co-worker. Uh, your support is what makes the Shriners able to do what they do, and it's well worth it. It's invaluable. Thank you very much. Um, my name is Alex Rabin. I'm the first Ansar Shriner to serve as chairman of the Shriners Hospital for Children in St. Louis, your hospital. <laughs> You're all too generous, honestly. To see everything you do is just so humbling, and it's amazing. And I can tell you, the Corn Belt Shrine Club and the Edgar County Shrine Club are pretty popular down at the St. Louis Hospital. We all know who you are because of all your great support and your generosity, and it's truly appreciated. And I can tell you, the hospital is doing very well with the funds that you work so hard to generate and donate. Our hospital has the lowest draw on our endowment for Shriners International, the hospitals. So you're number one, the lowest draw. You're doing a great job there. Number two, the supporters and the generosity of the people that uh, belong to the St. Louis Hospital, especially the Corn Belt Shrine Club and the Edgar County Shrine Club, have made our hospital the most donations of any hospital in the Shriner system. So you are number one as far as getting the most donations for your Shriners Hospital for Children in St. Louis. And we are so thankful. We had a big EOS ribbon cutting a couple, about two months ago, and we had uh, Jerry Gant, the chairman of the boards, and John McCabe, the guy that runs all the hospitals, and Terry and Janet and everybody there, and a bunch of Fez heads, and we did the ribbon cutting for the EOS, 
and we specifically thank the Corn Belt Shrine Club and the Edgar County Shrine Club. So thank you so much for living the mission. Thank you for having us tonight at this wonderful event. Uh, truly appreciate it. It's, it's a humbling honor. Thank you. Guys, ladies, I'm telling you one last time, it took each and every one of us, and yes, it was a lot of work, but it was damn well worth it. 300 children that come to Shriners for Care. Thank you all for coming. Talking about, Mike started talking about all the things he was wanting to do. I said, man, he's got a lot of ideas and a lot of good ideas. And he made, you made them come to life. You made them come around. That was uh, way more than he had ever, ever thought about. But I'm really happy for his ideas coming to, coming to life. Other than that, I really said uh, thank you for allowing me to be your ambassador. And uh, I think Larry Clapp, can I see you a minute? Oh my goodness. Hey, look, uh, Ansar 2018 Corn Belt Shrine Club, President Mike Titus, Ansar, and they put my horse on it. <laughs> I'll stand and help me welcome the 2018 potentate of Anzar Shrine, Richard Smith. Congratulations, Corn Belt Shrine Club and your leadership. You have had a tremendous, outstanding year. Uh, you definitely have bragging rights, not just in Anzar, but in Illinois, I think. I know you're not going to rub any other club's nose in it because we are all fellow. <laughs> your, your good year has been, you know, this fundraising for the Shriners. Membership, uh, Corn Belt has contributed a great deal to the membership of Anzar this year. And I've got some awards for that. Mike Bays, if you wouldn't mind. Um, Mike Titus. I'm sorry, Mike Titus. <laughs> you brought in somewhere in the neighborhood of 15, 14. 14 members this year. In here you have a camel for each one of those members. He's got a herd of animals. Those look good out behind the house. You're going to have to find some place to put all those. And you have a, a watch here for... Uh, your work with membership. And let's just open that up so people can possibly. Oh, well, that's more work than I thought. <laughs> it's actually. It's in a case. Go ahead and open it up. Just... There we go. There you go. And you've been anxious to get the post tie for 2018, so they made sure you got one. Well, thank you. <laughs> so with the members at uh, Corn Belt have helped to bring in, we had a membership year of uh, 76 new nobles, which is a pretty good number for us. We, uh, we typically budget for about 50 a year, and we've well exceeded that. Your activities this year have been an outstanding support for this year's theme of building the fraternity helping kids. That goes along with the theme of building our fraternity. 
with a firm handshake, warm smile, and kind words. So thank you all very much.